using um, either two and a half sticks of margarine or two <coughs> sticks of margarine and about a half worth of shortening. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Because uh, this basically gets melted out. So I figure why I keep wasting my margarine. Just have shortening. So that should be about the right amount. And I need two and a half cups of flour. I always start with two and a half cups of flour. I might need a little more. It's actually two and a half cups equals about one half kati. And a kati is a measurement used in Malaysia. So that's how I learned to make it. And that's how much it takes, one half kati. So I'm gonna, I think the food processor works probably better than anything else. Texture. I think that's pretty good. It seems crumbly, but it's actually there's going to be more moisture in there that'll hold it together. Okay. So that's what we're going to stop at and put it in our bowl over there with the This is the one. We're, we're making a couple of batches. Now this dough is the center dough, and you'll see that later on, that this is the center. And uh, the next dough doesn't really have any oil in it, except for the egg yolks. But all right if there's just a little left in there and see how this is gonna adhere yeah I'm gonna step back and get a little light Ooh, it'll adhere and all of this we're gonna make into golf ball size balls okay mm -hmm. so let's go to the next step to the other dough Two egg yolks. Oh, I could have used the other one. Not dirty, this one. But too late. The egg yolk is really going to glue this together. So it has to have that. About how much water? One cup. One cup. One cup of water with two egg yolks. No whites. And we use the same amount of flour. Do you remember how much that is? Two and a half. Half a tea. Two and a half. Yep. This also takes a half teaspoon of salt. Two and a half cups of flour. Uh -huh. Now, typically, I have to put a little more flour at the end, so I'm not really exact, but <clears throat> there you go, two and a half cups. You don't want to work this too long. You don't want it to be tough. Mm -hmm. So see how this is too sticky. Yeah. So I'm going to put another half cup of flour. Let's see if that'll do it. Now I 
have done this and worked it too long. And then it's the crust is kind of chewy instead of crispy. Mm -hmm. So we don't want that to happen. It needs a tiny bit more. Still a little too sticky. So let's just put not even a fourth cup. I'm trying to remember if a kati, a half kati, or like if a kati actually equals a pound or something. Maybe Dad remembers. No spin. Okay. So that's it for the dough. There's the two doughs. Okay. Take this out. Maybe I can kind of uh, pull it together a little bit. Remember, not too much though. We just don't want it tough. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we didn't need that last little bit of flour. See. Mhm. Mm but we'll see. We'll put it in there for now. Leave it. Okay, the next thing that you have to do, we're going to let that sit. Okay. Now we're going to make this into balls. So we're what just going to golf ball size. Golf ball. We'll probably turn off the video here and let you imagine making the, this all into golf ball size balls. It's a little big, but it doesn't, it won't really matter. Okay? Good. Okay. 